Now that we've seen a variety of reactions that result in products containing two functional groups, let's turn it around and look for those patterns in our target molecules. For example, if our target molecule is a beta hydroxy carbonyl or an alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl, then either of those could have been made by using an aldol reaction. So to do that disconnection, we focus on the alpha carbon because we know that has nucleophilic character. So I'm going to disconnect right here between the alpha and beta carbon. And what electrophile would I have started with to give this type of product? It would be a carbonyl. So if I had an aldehyde here as my electrophile, that's my partially positive center. When an enolate nucleophile attacks an aldehyde electrophile, we call that an aldol reaction. And the product we get is either a beta hydroxy carbonyl or an alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl. OK, so how about uh, this next pattern? We have a 1,3 dicarbonyl. So we have two carbonyls, and the relationship is 1,3 to each other. Well, that's the pattern of functional groups that result when we do a Claisen reaction. So our disconnection is, again, once again, going to be at the alpha position, so between the alpha and beta carbons. And the question is, what now does our electrophile look like? What we need to do is we're still going to have a carbonyl, what we're going to do is we're going to add a leaving group on here. So for example, if we had the ester, then after the enolate nucleophile attacks the ester, it's going to kick off that leaving group. So we're going to get an acyl substitution resulting in, an alpha, in a 1,3 dicarbonyl compound. OK, and finally, when we look at this last pattern, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We have a 1,5 dicarbonyl product, target molecule. So our disconnection is going to be at the alpha carbon. And the electrophile we need in that case is going to be the beta carbon of an alpha beta unsaturated. So this carbon is partially positive. And when an enolate nucleophile, we're going to use specifically a stabilized enolate. Uh, when that attacks the beta carbon of a alpha beta unsaturated, we call that the Michael reaction. And the product we get out, the pattern we get out, is a 1,5 dicarbonyl. OK, so when you take a look at the overall uh, theme here, is in every case we're focusing on that alpha carbon, because that is the logical place for a disconnection, giving us an enolate nucleophile. And then uh, in each case, the only thing that's varying is we're varying the electrophile that it's reacting with. If we use a carbonyl, the, that's the aldol reaction. If we use an ester, that's the Claisen condensation. And if we do the uh, alpha beta unsaturated, that's the Michael reaction. OK, so let's take a look at another pattern that uh, is related to this and kind of uses some of the same um, reactions, combinations of the same reactions. And that's if we have a cyclohexenone, we have a cyclohexenone target molecule. So right here we see the six-membered ring with the uh, alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl. OK, so in order to do this, we're going to end up doing two disconnections. The first disconnection is an aldol disconnection. What I'm going to focus on is, once again, the alpha carbon. And so I'm going to do the disconnection at the alpha carbon. And that uh, when I have an alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl, that comes from an aldol reaction. So I'm going to have a carbonyl as my electrophile. And I'm going to have an enolate as my nucleophile. So that aldol disconnection uh, would be the first step because that would, uh, once I do that aldol reaction, it's going to give, form the cyclohexenone ring. OK, but there's a second disconnection I can do. And in order to identify where that next disconnection comes, I move back to an alpha carbon, this time on the other carbonyl. And when I do this disconnection, now my pattern is a 1,5 dicarbonyl. And that is the pattern that results from the Michael addition. And so my starting materials, my nucleophile, is going to be the uh, alpha carbon of a carbonyl. And my electrophile is going to be an alpha beta unsaturated system. OK, and so the, su the substrate I have here is a uh, methyl vinyl ketone, methyl vinyl 
ketone, right? It's a ketone that has a methyl group on one side and a vinyl group on the other side. That's the component that we need. Um, those, those are the basic components we need to do this Robinson annulation, which is what it's called when we do the back-to-back -back Michael addition with a tandem aldol condensation, intramolecular aldol condensation. And so that's MVK. And so when we focus in on our um, on our cyclohexenone, we can identify which carbons came from the methyl vinyl ketone, and here they are. So there's the methyl group, and here we have the vinyl group. And so these are the carbons that came from MVK methyl vinyl ketone. So to kind of track your carbon chain, we could do that. And that's also going to help us track the two disconnections that are needed. We're going to do one disconnection from between the alpha and beta carbon, and we're going to do the second disconnection between the alpha, um, alpha carbon and the beta carbon of the methyl vinyl ketone.